Hey everybody, welcome to the Firehose Games Livecast. This is a new uh, daily livecast idea that we're trying out, uh, whereby we will be playing other developers' uh, smaller games uh, during lunch. So it's noon where I am, um, um, eat a little bit of cup of noodles, and the game we're going to play today, I'm really excited about because I did not know about this game this morning. Um, uh, you, you, but uh, I put out a little call saying we were going to try something. Somebody hit us up, sent along this game called Cat Lateral Damage, which you see uh, made by uh, Chris Chung. And this game is um, really, really awesome. Like, it's just this really fun little game. Um, the, the idea of it is that you're, I mean, you can see it right on the screen. You're a cat, swat stuff onto the floor, two minute time limit, get 100,000 points. You could jump, you can swipe. Um, you know, it's a first-person cat simulator, essentially, um, which, uh, which I think everybody is uh, kind of down with. Um, so we're going to be playing through this. I should mention, this is, game is, uh, it says it right on the bottom, but this game is really in development right at the moment. This is just one level. Uh, it's already through Steam Greenlight, um, so uh, it will be available at some point. And uh, if right now, you can go to his site, uh, catlateraldamage.com slash play. You can click the logo for Cat Lateral Damage right below the window. That will bring you right there. And you can just play this game uh, to your heart's content. So uh, let's just get right into it because this is this is too awesome to not get into. It's really simple controls. WASD for movement. Um, you can sprint by holding shift. Space jumps. If you want to swat horizontally, you can press either the left button or the, uh, the left mouse button or the right mouse button. Uh, and then if you want to swat forward, like push forward, you press the middle button. But you can also just walk around with, uh, with one paw out knocking stuff down. And the game is really challenging. I've not managed to get 100,000 points today. So let's see. Let's hope. Let's, let's, uh, let's, let's think. If you have any questions about uh, games or game development, um, hit us up in the chat room. I have that open so I can actually uh, see what's going on. All right, without further ado, Cat Lateral Damage by Chris Chung, uh, at Crixellian uh, on Twitter. All right, so here we are, I have two minutes. I better get, you gotta kinda get started right away. One thing I found is it seems like the, the real key to this game is is uh, really beating up on the shelves because you get more combos. There's more DVDs, it seems. There's a TV. <laughs> oh, little robots, little robots. Oh. Ugh. So yeah, th th there's if you just want to like hold your pot out and attack everything, uh, you could do that. I think the idea is to just basically really, really keep moving um, as much as you can. Uh, uh. Ah, shit. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I don't know, I think I just knocked myself off of here. Um, yeah, so this is like, it's like Cat Katamari Damacy. It's fantastic. It's, um... It's, you know, you're not making anything bigger, but just going around ruining everything is, uh, uh, I think, I think we could all agree, uh, ruining things is a fantastic, uh, a lot, it's, it's a, it's a very satisfying game mechanic. Alright. Alright. Sweet. Okay, so I'm only up to 70,000, this is, this is actually better than normal for me, but... I, uh, uh, I sh anybody who wants to continue uh, throwing cat puns in the chat room, very, uh, very welcome. Very excited about that. Keep it going. I lost uh, 72,465 points. Of course, we're trying to reach 100,000 points in just under two minutes. Uh, did not pull that off. So let's get back into it, see what's happening. Oh, uh, somebody asked, what's inside the DVD case? Uh, which movie? Um, I, I don't know. Um, we can try to get a little bit closer this time. Maybe we'll see, see something. Uh, 
I just really like destroying this TV. I like to pretend it's one of those curved 4K TVs that everybody's talking about that I never probably gonna get one. Oh, let's see. Let's see what's in this DVD case. Uh, I think it's the movie The Black Cloud. Oh, it's not a not a thing. Oh, is this door? Can I get through this door? No? Ugh. So those, it's, it's really satisfying to knock those books off, but I feel like the points aren't quite as high, so I'm not sure. I'm gonna keep doing it though, because it's just, it's just, a game like this is all about, is it, is it satisfying to do what you're doing? It's not really about the point so much, it's just knocking shit off of there, and this game does that very, very well. All right. Oh, we're getting much closer this time. I'm getting better at this game. Oh! I'm up to 89,000! Ah, oh, shoot. Let's see, I wonder if getting up there will do it. Oh! Damn it. Oh! So close! Oh, so close. 93,375. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna play again. I like I like this game. Like I said, this is this is an alpha of uh, Cat Lateral Damage. Um, this game is by Chris Chung. If you want to play this game yourself, you absolutely can. Just go right beneath the video screen window, and you'll see the Cat Lateral Damage logo. It should be next to the Drink from the Fire Hose logo. Just click on the logo. That'll bring you right to the Cat Lateral Damage uh, website, where you can just play the game. All you have to do is say. Uh, uh, that it's a uh, that you just allow Unity to uh, run in your browser and then just go crazy. Um, I I suggest you do. This is basically the best lunchtime game you could play. <laughs> I can't think of anything a better use of your time. Other thing that we we're excited about is uh, after playing this, we found out that. Um, Chris, uh, Chris, I believe, is a Boston-based uh, Boston developer, uh, so essentially a neighbor of ours. So uh, next time we see him, we can definitely uh, fanboy out about, his, about how awesome this game is. Um, oh, okay, there's that. Oh, damn it. Yeah, uh, somebody mentioned that it does seem like the that the game engine does uh, do a good job um, uh, with books, like rewarding you with points for books because of just the sheer number of them um, brings up your bonus, and uh, that does appear to be the case. All right. Uh, so, if you want to, uh, so we'll be doing this like basically every day. This is our inaugural episode of uh, the sort of lunchtime gameplay on uh, on this channel. But if you want to see this, um, we have our weekly Wednesday show where we have a developer on and we play their game while we talk to them about it. Um, we're thinking of adding a few more other shows. So really, now would be a fantastic time to would be a fantastic time to follow this channel if you could. It gives us a good idea of. Uh, of who's watching and um, you know making better shows for the people who who do watch the show. So if you have a chance, that would be awesome. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ninety nine thousand six hundred thirty five. I was like, just. I bet that I bet there were things in the air that would have uh, brought that score up over a hundred thousand. So we're getting close. We're getting better. We're getting better. We're getting better. Let's do this. Okay.
That's my new technique, is just sort of going near the wall and sweeping outwards. And, you know, that seems to get the, the lion's share of uh, things that need to be uh, knocked off the shelf. That's a hundred thousand in, I think I did it in under a minute. That's, that's pretty impressive. Unless there's a bug that says the more that you play it, the easier it is to score things, which uh, that, that would also not surprise me. Nonetheless, I still feel uh, really, I feel very proud of myself. I feel like I haven't been using the the one paw push quite as often as I should because it, it is adorable and I think we can all agree. So 127,445, I did it, I killed it, killed it. Uh, uh, this is so good. Um, and again, if anybody wants to play this, get in there right now, you can, um, it's cat lateral damage, just click the logo beneath the video screen, that'll bring you right there. This game is totally worth your lunchtime uh, uh, attention. It's been probably more, it's really, really fun. Uh, it's also already through green light, uh, it was one of the games that already got greenlit, so uh, this will be available at some point um, uh, on a larger thing. And I was really excited. I, I was reading a little bit on the greenlight page. Uh, Chris said one of the things that they're planning on, and I don't know if this is a goof or not. I, I, I don't think it is. I think it's probably true, is that they wanted to uh, Oculus Rift support for it, which I think would be uh, like a first-person cat simulator Oculus Rift thing would be uh, pretty intense. Uh, oh, I could definitely go for that. Yeah, look at that. So that so it seems like the real key to this is just sort of never just getting tons of stuff on the floor at a time. It's really about the combos, um, which is n not what I was doing the first couple of times. I was just having so much fun knocking individual things over and seeing what's going on. Um, I almost fell. So yeah, one of the things, the other thing I saw, like on, if you go on the green light page for this, there's there's some other uh, stuff. There's a, uh, um, oh, there's a, like they want to add other level, more levels, obviously, um, just more stuff. And that's really kind of all a game like this needs. The core gameplay thing here is already, you know, essentially perfect. What more could you ask for? Um, and I think it's just, it's, it's just dressing up the rest of it. It's, 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 it's really good. This, I really, really thoroughly enjoy this game. Um, all right, let's see. Let's see. Start, let's jump in there. Okay. Oh, 
<laughs> oh my god, I got 100,000 points in the first, like, wow, yeah, so really the key is the tons of books and DVDs and just making sure you're going up and down those shelves and um, kind of nailing that part. Um, oh, wow, yeah. So I'm already about to beat my score, and I still have over a minute left. That's beat my, my high score is about 115 grand. I'm at 123 now. Um, if Chris is in the chat room, I don't know if he is, but if Chris is in the chat room, I would love to know what the uh, overall high score is. Like, what's the, what's the best score he's seen uh, anybody get? And then I want to try to beat that. Somebody asked, how do the controls gar feel? Uh, <laughs> uh, first of all, appreciate the pun. Second of all, um, uh, controls feel great. This, this, this game actually controls really nicely. The, especially the um, swiping. Like the swiping just 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 works really nicely. It's, it's, I mean, it just feels like a continued melee attack from um, any good first person shooter. Uh, but you know, having the choice between paws and everything is, Pretty incredible. 173,830. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm incredible. That's just incredible. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with me. Um, let's see, if, I wanted to look in the chat room and see if there's any other questions. Uh, get in the closet and uh, F up those shoes. Uh, I think I've done that. Uh, see, jit, combos. Yeah, so we're talking about the combos. Uh, really the key to this is knocking as many things over at a time as you can and really bringing up that combo. Your points go up incredibly. Uh, somebody says they need to add a toilet paper mini game on how quick quickly you can shred an entire roll. I see that as sort of a street fighter uh, when you're, you're, when you're uh, uh, beating up the car. I see that as sort of like an interstitial where it's like, just see how much you can get. Um, uh, see how much you can get off the roll. That's pretty good. Uh, and then Andrea uh, 2S1 says uh, 133,820 is uh, their high score. Uh, mine is currently 173. So that's like 40,000 better. I don't want to say I'm incredible, but I'm pretty incredible. I'm pretty incredible. <laughs> oh, all right. Now, uh, oh, and Andrea, sorry about this. Sorry about Nightbot. Nightbot's an automatic chat moderator that we turn on when um, when we need somebody to moderate the rooms while we're playing games. Uh, sometimes it gets a little intense. It uh, doesn't like people when they're yelling too much, apparently, uh, or using caps. That's something I need to fix for the next show. Um, don't take it personally, I guess is what I'm saying. We like you just fine. So good. I love that the cartridges have the same um, texture on them as the like DVD cases, like uh, almost like you're swiping away the game version of the book that you just swiped at. Like I don't know why that's uh, adorable to me, but I find it. I do. I like that. Like the like the like the cat 
hates books and games equally, or just enjoys swiping at them equally. Oh, all right, 127, that's... Uh, um, all right, that's pretty good. That is pretty, that's pretty incredible. All right, so uh, that's pretty much our show for today. Uh, the If anybody has any ideas for games that they'd like us to play, uh, we're going to be doing this every, you know, Monday through Friday. We're going to be playing games every day. That's uh, kind of the thing. And uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, keep it going. That'll uh, that'll help us uh, sort of know what to, uh, know what's best to play next. And uh, if you have any ideas for games um, that we should play, uh, hit us up on our Twitter. That's at uh, Firehose Games. And you know we'll take a look at your game. We'll be happy to. We would love that. So uh, all right, everybody. Uh, that has been our show. And thank you very much. Go play. Go play this game right now. I don't know why you're even still watching this. Go play the game. It's so good.